everyone, so I'm here with a charm update and I think the last charm update that I posted was like 1976. It was a really long time ago. Um, I just have been really busy with school and homework and sorting out my life in the future. It's just been really stressful, but I'm really happy that I can film you a charm update. So let's begin. First, I have my Hogwarts crest. I did make a video of these showing each and every one of them. And I only showed how I made the Slytherin because I didn't have enough film for a time lapse video. And then this one is the Ravenclaw. Then I have Gryffindor. And lastly, my favorite out of them all is the Hufflepuff. Then I made this Japanese miniature fan. And I do have a tutorial on this. I also have a tutorial on this guitar necklace. And I also made this guitar figurine so it's just basically without the eye pins then I made a Cogsworth and Lumiere tutorial recently but I haven't shown you guys the first Cogsworth that I tried to make I was still experimenting but I didn't like the face because I thought it looked a bit weird but I did like the rest of it so I decided to go on Google and see if I can get inspiration and I saw a kawaii version of it so I just had to make it. I posted it on Instagram and you guys requested for a tutorial so I was like hmm, why don't I make a tutorial for Lumiere and Cogsworth and I think they're my favorite charms right now because I don't know I just fell in love with them they're so cute. Yeah, I just, I just love them. Next, I um, made this cookie cameo inspired by Becky Bachi, and she did make a tutorial of a cameo ice cream just with an ice cream cone, but I was too lazy, so I just decided to make it a cookie. <laughs> then I made some cupcakes and I did try and experiment on the cupcake base. I did sculpt it from scratch. And I think I'm really happy because it's not perfect. It just looks... I don't know, I just like it. <laughs> and so this is the birthday cupcake with colorful sprinkles and a candle. Then I made this vanilla cupcake with pink icing and a strawberry on top and then I have this lime cupcake with green drizzle and silver wrapper I made several macaron inspired by Kappa's bakery so I just have these few macaron I have this brownie with an ice cream scoop, chocolate drizzle, whipped cream, and cherry. And then I have these three little toasts. I made this toast with a fried egg. And this is just a smiley face. I really love how these turn out. They're like one of my favorite charms. This one is with a tongue sticking out and some blueberry jam. And this has got to be my favorite. It's this bitten toast with a shocked face and some melted butter on it. I think I'm going to make more of them because I don't know, I just love them. They are so simple and so cute and I can do a lot of different expressions and different toppings. And they're really fun to make. Next, I have Elsa from Frozen, and this is inspired by Sugar Charm Shop. Um, she has a really amazing tutorial on this, but mine didn't turn out so well. <laughs> it's not really great. 
but I can improve. Oh my god. <laughs> and at the back, I have put on some blue felt because I didn't like the back and I needed to cover it up with something. So here's Elsa. Then I made these two little characters. And this is a television. The screen is his face and he has like a remote body and this is like an old-fashioned TV because nowadays it's like a flat screen TV and then I have the girl and she's a computer so this skirt is her keyboard and the screen of course is her face and she has a little bow on it and I really love how these turned out I did design them myself and I'm really proud of how they turned out Next, I made a YouTuber and I made Tyler Oakley. This is um, inspired by a picture I, that he posted on Instagram. So this is the outfit that he wore in the picture and you can see his mint hair, which is just as fabulous as always. <laughs> and I forgot to show you guys that this. <laughs> I have a tutorial on this globe jewelry box and when you open it you guys can see a galaxy interior and I just really love the concept of it it's adorable then I tried to remake my Rilakkuma couch potato it's not finished yet but um, it's smaller compared to the original one and I think I want to try again and make it even smaller because it's still too big of a size Then lastly, I made this um, This coral reef necklace inspired by an amazing crafter called Petit Plat and she made this coral necklace. I was really in awe with it. It was amazing. I decided to try it for myself and I'm really happy with the results. So an up close look. It did take a lot of time but it was worth it in the end. It's really fun to make as well actually. So I hope you guys enjoyed this charm update. And I would just like to say thank you guys so much for your constant support so far throughout my YouTube journey. I really appreciate it and it always makes my day when I see comments on YouTube and on my Instagram. It's just, I, I feel really blessed to have you guys and thank you guys so much for being here with me and yeah, thank you guys again. I love you guys. Bye.